Come talk to me real quick. It's not real quick. You have to come inside. Not all Karens exist in the wild. Some of them live very close to you. In fact, they might be your neighbors. And just like Karens in the wild, these neighbors will do anything to get you in trouble. Stick around to see these people get a taste of justice when trying to get the neighbor arrested backfires. Police were called to handle an issue between the caller and the upstairs resident. When he arrived, the caller met them at the door, practically half naked with a blanket covering her poorly. Oh, I can help you. Go for it. Yeah, you want to put some clothes on? No, I got clothes on. Okay. I got a... The guy up there on the right is thumping, like, very hard. While she's talking to the officer, a man comes from within the apartment, interrupting the woman. He reveals that the woman was not even a resident there. She was visiting for the night. He begs her to leave and shuts the door. I don't like trouble. I don't want I don't like drama either, I but I just without, no problem But the neighbor. I do not want no trouble, please don't. I don't want trouble. I beg you, Maria, just go. I don't no, want, no, no, no. I don't no. have nothing on my record. I don't want nothing. Just 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 get your stuff in me. The woman reveals that the man she came to visit was African. This is the first time that this is mentioned, and that he was afraid to complain about the noise because of that. The man opens the door, but his words are inaudible. I'm down here, but he is, he's an African, so he's scared to speak up. He doesn't like the police. So when I knock on a, when I knock on a neighbor's door. Do you have your ID with you, ma'am? No, but I have a picture of it in my phone. That's fine. Okay. The woman finally goes back inside the apartment after agreeing with the officers that she was going to leave. The officers go upstairs to talk to the neighbor. Hello, what's going on, man? Uh, crazy girl down there. I don't know. Okay. Um, what, what was? I don't know. I, I, I was confused on what's going on. Uh, she's complaining about us walking in the store, the floor creaking. Okay. I've never seen her in my life. Did she come up here or? Yeah, she came up here half naked. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The police head back downstairs to make sure the woman leaves with an Uber since it's quite obvious that she is intoxicated. Soon the cam picks of the sound of the woman causing a commotion inside the apartment. She lashes out at the man. Just no one, just her. She leaves down the well, Let's try to get her a, an Uber, see if she can get an Uber or something like that because if she's intoxicated we can't have her driving. Ma'am, you, you, you have a way to get home? <laughs> the woman starts to make hateful and threatening comments about the man who is apparently a foreigner in America. And she was still half naked. Is this, is He's this, lucky he have his papers, because I've been sitting back. You don't have any a shirt or anything like that? Any who? A shirt? Any shirt? I mean, I'm going to show you, but that's fine. Like, <laughs> Just no. out of respect and privacy. Like, I, I call it Uber and a lift. It's fine. Okay. Do you have, like, t-shirt or anything, pants that you came in? Who? That's not mine. Well, he's trying to help you out so you can put I some clothes on. Clothes. F you. F you. African. I'll call the Uber, okay? That's okay, fine. yeah, let's, just, let's work on getting an Uber and then... The woman continues to the threaten the man she had come to visit in the apartment. Her voice grows louder. She starts to cry and make noise to the point that the officers had to try to calm her down. Um, you lucky I didn't beat him up. That's fine, that's fine. Um, <laughs> You don't have any clothes? This is so ridiculous. You don't have any, like a t-shirt or anything like that? No, I don't. I... The woman starts walking toward the parking lot suspiciously. The police officers move to stop her. Apparently, she was going to vandalize the man's car. Go stop her. Stop. Whatever you're about to do. Listen to me. Your Uber's almost here. So, <laughs> you need to come. You listen. You listen to me. Listen to me. You're making me think that I should rethink allowing you to go home. Okay? I'm gonna go home. Just I'm gonna stop. Stop. 
Like, hurry up, stop. hurry up. No, you're not. That's you're gonna... fine. I'll pay for the bill. It's stop. fine. I'll pay stop. for the bill. It's fine. Stop. I have money on me. It's fine. I don't want to take you to jail. Okay? I know. <laughs> you need to stop, okay? You need to walk back over there. This is your last opportunity, okay? Because this is borderline to where... <laughs> Let's go, ch go check to see where your Uber is. Uh, it's two minutes away. Go check again. You got your phone with you? It was in my okay. pocket. Check and see where your Uber is, because I hate for you to go to jail on Thanksgiving. <laughs> I can go to jail by myself out, so I would care less. Just stay, away from, just stay away from here. No, okay. I'm not staying away. The woman's Uber arrives, but instead of going to her car, she heads toward the man's car and kicks it. The police officers place her under arrest. If she hits that car, I'm telling you. I'm going to arrest her if she hits the car. You're under arrest. Here. You're under arrest. Why? I'm going to my car. Nope. Stop. Not. Please. Please, just let me go home. Please. Nope. We're past. Put your hands behind your back. Please, let me go nope. home. Nope. No, 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 no. Please. Please. The woman gets handcuffed and taken to jail to sober up. She was charged with obstructing official business, second degree misdemeanor, and disorderly conduct, simple misdemeanor. Currently, there is a warrant issued for the suspect in connection to her misdemeanor charge of disorderly conduct. Officer in Ocala, Florida are called in to handle an assault dispute involving a neighbor. The altercation resulted from the neighbor's child allegedly stealing from the woman's home, resulting in a heated argument. The officer goes upstairs where a woman, Susan, meets him at the door. She appears to be in great distress as she appears to be crying in the footage. So, I'm friends with her. Her kids come up here all the time. Okay. They asked about my son's um, vintage collections of DS okay. games. And I said, no, you can't play with those. My son doesn't the want kids, to. The kids do? Yeah. Okay. So um, they left. I noticed they were gone. So I called her and I said, hey, Six point Naya. Three nine seven. My son's missing. You didn't see him take it, but they're that they are missing. Okay. They are missing. So, you know, because we're friends, tried to talk to her about it. She's like, "Oh no, no, my kids didn't talk. She was up here." It's like she all of a sudden grabbed my hair and starts saying, "You son, trying to accuse me of stealing." Sh She grabbed your hair and and she started punching you or Yep. Okay. With her which arm? Right hand, left hand? You don't Sir, I'm okay. not sure. I was, just started getting punched in my face. With a like a closed okay. fist, a Penny. slap, how was it? Oh, it felt like closed fist. Okay. So you believe it was closed fist. Multiple times she said in the face. Yes. And I see you got some some redness and looks like some some swelling, maybe a little bit going on. At least some red. The officer goes to talk to the neighbor involved in the incident. She narrates her side of the story, telling the officer that her children asked about the game, but they didn't steal it. Her name's not Karen, is it? No. <laughs> that would have been too much. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. She, she got um, a bloody towel. Yeah, because she clocked me with her, with her hand, her phone, or whatever. Because I was telling her to back up out my face. I went upstairs. She okay. said normally y'all are. We're fine. Friends. Normally, we're, okay. we're not even friends. She's just a neighbor of mine that I let my kids in her house to play. I told my kids, no, 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 you're not allowed to go in the house. So today I'm downstairs chilling with my friend, my friend downstairs. My kids was like, oh, Susan has games. Can we go upstairs? Can we go upstairs? No, 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 no. They begged me enough to where I said, okay, fine. Because Susan was like, yeah, they can come in as long as they don't touch this, touch that, touch that. They asked about a game. They did not touch it. The neighbor tells the officers that she was certain her children didn't take the games. She tells him that she helped Susan look for the games, but they didn't find them. Susan began to get aggressive with her. I said, Susan, back up. She's like, very close in my personal area. So I'm like, back up, Susan, back up. I didn't mush her or anything. I took up by her waist and I said, back up, Susan. So she's like, your kids, this, that. So that's when I was like, all right, Susan, I don't have nothing else to do with you because you're a flip floppy. My kids are not allowed in your house. So she started getting in my face again. And I backed up. So when I went to go touch her that last time to back her up, she clocked me in the head. So I beat her ass. The officer goes to talk to one of the people who had witnessed the incident, another resident. 
The witness tells the officer that Susan was the one who initiated the fight. The officers go back to Susan's house to make sure the DSS were actually missing. She calls her son, DJ, to find out which one was actually missing. He reveals that the DS was in his room all along. Can you put on speaker for me? Which ones, are, which ones did you have? You had the blue one that said the hack strikes back. Uh -huh. And what else? And then the regular DS, what happened? Um, so, DJ, this is Officer Mercer with the Ocala Police Department. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. Good. How old are you? I am 22. Okay, just clarifying, I'm not talking to a juvenile. Um, you had a, a dark blue DS, a classic, and then a, uh, a lighter blue, bigger one? And then a red yeah, one. It was a 3DS, and then it was a regular uh, DS. DS light. Okay, and uh, was there a third one? Yeah, but I have that one somewhere else in my room. Okay, I appreciate it. That's all I needed to know. After they confirm that the DS was, in fact, not missing, the police officers tell Susan that she is going to jail. She appeared surprised by this. So at this time, you're going to go to jail, okay? I am? Yes, you are. Oh, can I call my son? I'll call him. Why am I going to jail? All the witnesses said that you were the primary aggressor. You but falsely accused her, you chewed out her kids, and then everyone said you swung first and she's bleeding from the face. Susan was charged with battery. The police at Rio Rancho Police Department are called in to come handle a case between a grumpy grandma and her neighbors, whom she claimed had sprayed her with a garden hose twice while she went to check her AC unit on the side of the house. What grandma says and what actually happened were different, as the officers were about to find out. The police officer proposes that they have a conversation, and the old lady immediately snaps. So hold on. Come talk to me real quick. It's not real quick. You have to come inside. So what's going on today? Well, come in and I'll talk to you. What's wrong with talking out here? I want to talk inside. What do you think is there, I am, a criminal? Is there anyone inside the house? No, there's nobody in there. See, he's put the hose on me twice for no reason. And I have a restraining order from the Let judge. See this. The cops agree to follow her inside the house to talk. Here you down. No, no, no. I'm not a criminal. I understand that. I'm just going to stay standing, OK? So what's going on today? What's going on? He put the hose on me. So I'll start from the beginning. What I happened? I went back on the side to check my air conditioning. I was looking back on my property. I didn't say a word. Then it goes like this and he put the hose on me. I didn't say anything to me. So he just sprayed you with the hose? Twice. Did he say anything to you? He just started spraying for no reason. The grumpy grandma continues to rant about her supposedly spiteful neighbors and talking about how they did what they did because she lived alone and all that. She takes the officers to the spot where she claimed they sprayed her. Do you mind showing me where in the backyard they sprayed you? Yeah. And what time did this happen? It just happened like about 15 minutes ago. 15 minutes ago? Well, can I take it to court or is it not permissible? So let's see where they sprayed you yeah. first. Oh, they're gonna say all kinds of things. You know that, you know that. They're gonna okay. say all kinds of things. Why don't you listen to me? We Listen. are. That's why I'm asking you to show me where right. they sprayed you to see if there's any. You say the same thing. Go back to New York. Go back to New York. With the goddamn tattoos all over. Grumpy Grandma takes the officers to the spot where she claims she was sprayed with water. The footage shows the area is completely dry. So you were right here. Yeah, yeah. And then he took the hose and sprayed it on me twice. This way. To me, I was all wet. Okay. The officers ask her if she had changed her clothes after the incident. The woman tells them that she didn't, but the clothes she was wearing she claims she was sprayed was still dry. No, no, did you change your clothes after you got sprayed with water? No. No? Why? So, uh, why? You want to say What? Them? No, no, what What area did they spray you The on? whole thing, and then he did it again the second time. And you said it was about 15 minutes ago? Yeah, about 15. I can't, uh, but, but what do you think of that? What do you think of that? So, the only thing I'm noticing is your clothes looks... Let's see. Dry, and I didn't see any water on the floor by your air conditioner. I'm telling you, he did it. So the officer tells Grumpy Grandma that he is going to speak with the neighbors that she accused of spraying her with water. Grandma immediately protests that, 
she doesn't want the officer to speak with them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go talk to the neighbors. I want, are you going to listen to them and you, gonna, you want to know something? So, you believe them. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? You're going to be impartial. So let me finish my investigation. Let me go talk to them, get their side of the story. There's and no then, side of the story. And then I'll come back and talk to you, okay? Yeah, there's no side of the story. So, I am so if, if something happens, there's always two sides. There's the victim and there's... I'm the, the victim. I I'm the victim. The cops go over to speak with the neighbors despite grumpy grandma's vehement protests that they shouldn't do that. When they go over to speak with the neighbors, it becomes obvious why she didn't want them to do so. Hello, Hello. I'm Officer Cantrell with the Rio Rancho Police Department. Hello. Um, what's going on today? No, I'm just hanging out, having a nice day out in the backyard. And okay. The neighbor was like standing there just staring and the dogs were barking. So we asked mm -hmm. like, can we help you? And she was just, and she stood there leaning on the fence and she was like Leaning this. Over our fence. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm sorry, ma'am, can I help you? And she goes, I'm not talking to you, you <laughs> And points at her. Mm -hmm. And we kept the little kid out there and yeah. the other kids like drawing with chalk on the back porch and we're like, dude, okay. no. And she just started cursing and yelling. Uh, she had did that to us previously and mm -hmm. she told me, she's like, let's just go inside. And I was like, but dude, it's, she just came up and started talking trash. Yeah. Like literally it's not worth it. It's not yeah, it's, kids, it's like, not yes. worth it. So we went inside. So this time she started swearing and calling her a bunch of foul names in mm -hmm. front of the kids and I was like, dude, no, absolutely not. You're leaning over our fence. We're trying to, to be like, leave, like like can we help you? There's yeah. nothing to see back there. There's no view. After reviewing video evidence provided by the neighbors, the officer realized that grumpy grandma had not only been lying about the water, she had been harassing the neighbors and swearing in front of their children. She gets charged with disorderly conduct and issued a summons. Grandma was extremely unhappy. Security footage shows 60-year-old Terry Vetch threatening to shoot a person because they backed into his driveway. Both Vetch and the person call the cops on each other. I have my Nest display on my computer, above my computer, and I'm watching that, so I'm pulling in the driveway. And which car was it again? This white car right here. Was it the newer or this, old this newer? Okay. So I went in there and I was going to tell him, S my driver. They've been told this before. I didn't realize it was a different car because white Ford Edge is a white Ford Edge thing. I didn't realize it was a different Vetch's security camera showed the incident that followed after the other person used his driveway. Vetch walks across the street to where the car was parked, smacked the rear window, and yells at the driver. A woman from inside his neighbor's house confronts him and they yell profanities at one another. As the argument gets heated, it spills back onto Vetch's driveway, where the woman follows him across the street but doesn't step on his driveway. At this point, Vetch draws his gun and points it at the woman. Soon, a woman from Vetch's house steps out to intervene. One of Vetch's neighbors explains that the person who pulled into his driveway had done so on accident. You know what driveway was mine, that way or this way, right next to each other, and uh, he pulled, they pulled in his and he came out of the house with a gun okay. and his head point, pointed right at her head. Vetch was taken into custody and has been charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon without intent to kill. According to the source, he has been released on a $50,000 bond. Officers Eukatis and Philos were dispatched three times to an Elgin, Illinois residence. The cause of all the problem was an unruly neighbor, Shannon being extremely loud and obviously drunk early in the morning. In the end, the officers are forced to place her under arrest. Hey, come outside, come outside. Elgin police, come outside. Come outside, Elgin police. Hello again, Ms. Bro. I am minding my business. I understand. I appreciate you not going to the door. 
I did not. I did what you told me to do. But I have every right to say what I have to say out of my f mouth. Yes. So what yeah. am I doing wrong? Yeah. Why are you knocking on my door? Because I'm just trying to bring. Can up I just just be? I'm just gonna be honest. All of that's being recorded. That's fine. Just I don't honest. care. I'm recording too. It's no problem. I don't okay. care. Okay. Listen. Look, you can... I'm about to snap. I'm gonna go to jail. Like, like, literally lock me the f up. Well, listen. No, that ass, that the f that the f lock me the f up. Lock me up, cause I'm a whoop, Mr. Ass, yo. I'm a whoop his. The footage shows the officers banging on Shannon's door. How about you take a rest? and go to sleep because, because you're drunk. I have, uh, um, no, my house, look, you wanna see how much I've done? You wanna see how much I've done? You telling me I'm drunk? Shannon continues to be loud and unruly even when the cops advise her to calm down and take a nap. She hurls accusations at her neighbors and swears at them in front of the cops. Her and her baby daddy. Just a suggestion. Her and her baby daddy. That's all. He ain't supposed to be here. Get out of here. you. You and your baby mama hey. you. Hey, you ain't enough. even supposed to be here. You are not supposed to All right. be here. Ma'am, now you're under arrest. To be here. Now you're for under what? Arrest for disorderly conduct. Let me hold this. I won't break it. Now you're under arrest for disorderly conduct. For what? I said now you're under arrest no. for disorderly conduct. No. 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 As Shannon continues to swear at the neighbors, the cops are forced to place her under arrest. What did I do? What did I do? Go what right I do? Oh, okay. Now you see how you rough handed me? Not rough handed. Yeah, you rough handed me. Not at all. Yeah, he is rough handed me. Uh, it becomes more and more obvious that Shannon is extremely inebriated as she's being led to the cop car. She starts to complain loudly, even though her words come out a bit slurred. Shannon was charged with misdemeanor disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, and obstructing an officer. A man identified as Gordon Lawshi called the cops on a nine-year-old girl spraying a nearby tree for invasive bugs, describing her as a little black woman. The footage contains recording of the 911 call that was made by Losh. What's that? Oh, what are you using the sponsor? You're trying to catch him? Someone just called in and said that she was alone spraying something on the grass. She's catching the... I see that. Body cam shows the officer arriving at the scene only to find a nine-year-old girl spraying the trees to control invasive bug species, which are known to be harmful to trees. What's your address? 12 Elizabeth. 12? Right there. Okay. Yes, I'm saying we are... are You're obviously next-door neighbors. Yeah. I yelled okay. him one of his, his right. right. No. No, you're not in trouble. The officer deems the situation all right and simply decides to write down Monique Joseph's address. It appears she lived on the opposite street as the man who made the call. Although Lawshi didn't get arrested, he received a lot of backlashes for his actions. Let's hope that taught him a lesson to not be racist. Imagine paying thousands of dollars just to live next to these types of neighbors. This must be hell for everyone in the same situation. It's a shame that some people simply cannot mind their own business. Well, that's that for now. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos.